Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Kylie Govier and I'm here to bring you guys some super festive summer fake bake cupcakes. I will be showing you guys how to make some fake pina colada cupcakes as well as the long awaited flamingo pool float summer cupcakes, which I tried to film last year twice, but my camera had technical difficulties, so I was never able to edit and post the video. But now per popular request, I am back and I'm gonna show you guys how to make the flamingo cupcakes as well. So if you guys would like to see how to make these cupcakes, stay tuned and let's get started. First, you will need some insulating foam. I get mine from Walmart. It is for big gaps and cracks and it expands one to three inches. So on the back of this can, you will find the instructions on how to use it. Mine specifically says to open it and shake it for a minute. And then after it's shaken for a minute, you can apply your nozzle and start using it. So for my cupcake base, I just took some cupcake liners and sometimes the cupcake liners kind of like come up or don't stay still and have like a wonky bottom. So I like to get these washers from Home Depot that I then place into the cupcake liners in a pan just to kind of hold it in place. And then once that's ready, you can use your foam and spray it inside of the cupcake liners. Also, you can use the cup type of cupcake liners from TJ Maxx, which I just showed you with the pen stripes, but it just is kind of like up to you and what you want. So I'm just going to use my insulating foam and spray it into the bottom of the cupcake liners. And then you let it sit for 24 to 48 hours so it can fully expand and harden ready for you to paint and use. This is the cupcake that I made last year, but my filming didn't really work out. So this is kind of going to be our inspiration and what we are going to try to replicate this time and so that I can show you how I made these last year. And to do like the flamingo head and flamingo arms for the float, I'm going to like make fake fondant pieces. And what you need to make the material look like it's fake fondant is actually just some simple model magic. So I'm going to take the model magic and I'm going to mold it into the pieces that I need, let it harden and paint it. Then it will literally look like fake fondant for your cupcakes. And you can make practically any fake fondant piece out of this material. But for the flamingo heads, I'm just going to kind of roll it like a snake, but I'm going to focus on rolling the neck area and kind of leave like a larger area to the top. So it'll look like the head portion because the head and the neck is not the same size. You kind of want like a bulbous area at the top, I guess you could say. And then once you have that shape done, you can start like pinching and rolling parts of the beak so that you'll have the flamingo's beak. And then after you have your shape majority like finished for your flamingo, then I like to take the long portion or the neck of the flamingo and kind of bend it because I feel like it gives it more character with like a bent flamingo neck. And then this is technically what the shape looks like. And then you let that harden for 24 to 48 hours before painting. But also before you let it harden, I like to do one more thing for extra stability for the cupcake. What you do is you take some toothpicks and then you take the sharp part of the toothpick and you poke it into the bottom of the flamingo like this. And then after you use the sharp end, you put the not so sharp end into the bottom and you kind of just push it like halfway through the neck and then you let that sit. So what the toothpick does is it just gives extra stability so that when you go to place it in the frosting, you push the toothpick down into the actual foam part of the cupcake just to hold it more in place. As for the flamingo's wings, I kind of just rolled it out for like a centimeter thickness and then you can use like a simple pair of scissors or shears to cut out the shapes that you want. The shape I went for was kind of like thick and then it slims down and curves. As you can see here, this is just what I went for. And then we painted all of the pieces. This is what the painted flamingo heads look like and they turned out pretty cool. I like the color this time around better than my color I chose last time. And this is what the flamingo's wings look like, which are also really pretty and I love the shade. Now I'm gonna talk you through it because I didn't really get too much information about it, but the flamingo wings, I didn't paint the back because that wouldn't be visible when attaching it. And as for the flamingo heads, I didn't really paint the top part of the beak because I didn't wanna go back and repaint it white if it was already white. So I left the beak white and I also left the bottom of the flamingo white again because it wouldn't be visible. But as you see, I got some pink on the beak, but I didn't stress too much about that because I had to go in and add some black detail to that later. 
But as for now, also you can look at the wings and see for each flamingo, you need them facing different directions because again, they would be on different sides of the flamingo. Therefore, they wouldn't be facing the same direction. And then the colors I used was pink parfait and pink eraser. I just used these two colors as a mixture to get this really pretty, perfect flamingo float color. And again, since I'm not making them look super realistic to flamingos, rather a summer flamingo pool float, I did the color based off the pool float rather than a real flamingo and tried to make it look more cartooned like a pool float. So now I'm gonna use some snow white paint in the end of my paintbrush just to kind of dip it into the paint and roll it on the flamingo on each side for its eyes. Just an easy way to apply the paint. And then once you have all of the flamingo's eyes on, we will move on to the next step. Moving along to the black detailing on the flamingo, as you can see here on the beak, the black portion follows the shaping of the white portion of the beak. So technically the black area just kind of follows to a point in the center of the flamingo and then it follows through to the back and that's all you really do for painting the black area. Again, as I just showed you, I like more, the more cartoon look for the flamingos just because it is going to try to replicate a flamingo pool float rather than a flamingo once again. But anyways, I'm just here kind of following the shape of the white portion of the beak and painting that black. And then once your beak is fully painted black, again, an easy application for the eyeballs is just simply using the back end of your brush and using that to dot on small dots in the center of the white portion of the eye. Now that our fondant pieces are all prepared, there's one other thing that we need to prepare for the flamingo cupcakes, and that's actually the cupcake base itself. So as you can see, once the foam rises, it creates like this dome shape, but I'm trying to go for like more of a flat top. So actually what I'm going to do is take some scissors and just kind of guide them along the top or through the side of the cupcake, as you can kind of see what I'm doing here, just to kind of trim off the top of the cupcake because I want it to be more flat. The reason for this is actually because I'm trying to add some blue frosting on the base of this cupcake to make it look like the ocean or the pool for the pool float. And these are the colors I'm using for the actual cupcake base themselves. Yellow flame, some classic caramel, pumpkin orange, and antique parchment paint from Apple Barrel. And it just kind of creates this really nice type of vanilla color that I'm gonna use to paint the foam part of the cupcake. And that is all we really have to do to prepare our cupcake base, and then we will actually be able to assemble the cupcakes. But the first one I'm going to assemble is actually going to be the peanut colada ones. And as for the base of these cupcakes, all I really did was just paint the foam part of it. I didn't even have to cut anything or trim it. All it just needed was a couple coats of this special mixture of paint. Now we are going to start assembling and decorating our fake peanut colada cupcakes. So the base of all the frosting is simple lightweight spackling. So we are going to put a decent amount of lightweight spackling into our bowl to use for the frosting. And if you look at peanut coladas, they have like a beige-ish or yellowish type of color, almost like a creole clear crystallized look. So we are going to use the shades Antique Parchment and also Yellow Flame from Apple Barrel, kind of as a combination to create our perfect pina colada shade. I did do mine actually a little bit more yellow compared to a pina colada because I wanted it to have enough contrast off of our vanilla cupcake. So I did add a little bit more yellow than needed for like a pina colada look, but in the end, I thought it looked really well, almost like, like pineapple juice, so. This is the shade I went with, and then after you have your shade mixed up, you pick your piping tip. I didn't show you guys what piping tip I used, but it was just a closed star, I'm pretty sure. So it created like this super roughly type of icing, and it was super gorgeous on the cupcake. So this is the icing, put it in a piping bag, technically kind of given. But once that is ready, then I'm going to show you the accessories. And one of the accessories I used were these gorgeous pineapple slices I got off of Etsy. And if you're interested, I will leave them down in the description. And I also got cherries, straws, and some fake sugar. But I might add that on later. I used the fake sugar for the flamingo ones. Basically, just use your frosting and kind of 
pile that up on top of the cupcake, then stick in your decorations, like your pineapple piece, your cherry piece, and also your straws. On some of them, I used one straw, and also on some of these pina colada cupcakes, I decided to do two straws because sometimes when you order a pina colada, like with your partner or something, you might get two straws and share it. So I thought I would also add in that detail, kind of like another option. Now it's time to assemble and decorate the flamingo cupcakes and I'm going to be using the same shades of paint, pink parfait and pink eraser to kind of replicate the same type of flamingo color but again since I'm mixing it with the lightweight spackle base it's going to be a little bit lighter because of the white coloration in the spackle which is okay with me and then the other shade I'm using is this Laguna or Blue Lagoon type of shade from Apple Barrel because again I'm using some spackle to create the pool and also some to create the actual ring for the pool float. So I'm going to start off with actually using the Blue Laguna icing and a simple round piping tip and transferring all the icing into this tip because what we're going to do is pipe onto our flat cupcake bases kind of like a round rim of blue pool. So basically, like I said, just pipe this on in like a circle motion and then we're gonna smooth it out afterwards. So I was looking at different ways to smooth it out and I know with like real frosting or something, there's a way that you can like press it on parchment paper so you can kind of see the parchment paper in the back where I tried it, but it just stuck to it and didn't work. So if you know how to do that, let me know. But the easiest way I found to smooth out the frosting was just a simple type of popsicle stick and smoothing it out by hand which you've still seen some texture, but it turned out really pretty in the end. And just follow through with the rest of your cupcakes. And then once that was done, like if you look into a pool like in a nice hot summer day, you kind of see like the water shimmering and it's like super pretty. So to give that effect, I actually also ordered on Etsy some fake sugar crystals, which I will also leave a link in the description. So I just used these and kind of sprinkled them over the blue area just to give it that extra sparkle and type of detail to the cupcakes. And I did that for all of them. And then after that, we can finally assemble our Flamingo Pool Float cupcakes. I decided to go with this way of using fake sugar from Etsy, but I've also seen people just use simple glitter or sand from Dollar Tree, which also works equally as well if you'd like to do that or rather do that. But now we are going to use the same piping tip and piping bag just with the pink frosting and very easily and smoothly pipe a pink like ring on the top of the pool. And also a tip for this is you see how I'm piping and the tip is not like fully pressed against the blue portion. You kind of like drape it over and you let that fall into place. It just makes it a lot smoother. And then you can apply all of the little fake fawn up pieces like the flamingo heads and each side of the flamingo wings to the cupcake. And then you have your finished flamingo pool float cupcake. And how adorable. They all turned out super cute and basically just let them dry for 24 to 48 hours. And then you can decorate with them this summer super cute in your like kitchen or even in your dining room in a tear tray. Just a simple way to bring the summer inside and super adorable. Something super fun to look at every day. And I absolutely love them and hope that you guys do too. So if you do, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe down below. Also make sure to leave me a comment if you guys have any other summer video ideas that we, you guys would like to see me do. And I will check into that and see if I am able to make that this year. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video and see you guys then. Bye everyone!